guys. Uh, this is going to be the last video of this week anyway. Give you a week off. This is what the fourth video or something I posted today. Like I said, it's been two weeks since I've done anything or posted anything, but I've been working a lot on the railroad and like I said, help my dad out a little bit. But uh, so here we go. This will be the final update and this will catch everybody up and catch me up. All right, it's Monday, 29th of April, 2019. I'll take you on a little bit of a tour here of the uh, cement plant uh, complex. I started off, uh, watch my other videos. I used a uh, eighth inch thick chipboard or the, to simulate the concrete base. And I'll put a little bit of another batch over the top of that also. I got the silo structures built up pretty good with the sandpaper uh, concrete on the outside. Turned out pretty nice. They're all uh, different shades, which is really nice also. Back here I've painted that center silo uh, a metal color. I'm not stuck on this green yet, so this is just, I'm just uh, trying to put something together in my mind. I don't know yet, so. Um, back here I've got my simulated material uh, coal pile this is my material yard and this uh, center one here was done with uh, driveway uh, sifted fines uh, this last one here was done with um, uh, the sand texture that you put into paint it came out really nice too and this one here, I used sanded grout of, I don't know what kind of, it was a beige color. They have a bunch of those colors. So. And then this is the dollar store black sand. That has real nice little shiny particles in it even. Looks kind of nice. And I've got the... Uh, ballast done back here I've got debris from that would be left over that would still come out of the cars as the as the uh, car is rolling down the side track here so I got to fill in that area that's where there's a gap uh, that's where that panel is to reach the, the back part of the loop this part here so I got to fill in gaps there and paint that and I have lowered the uh, sheds all three of these sheds here I've lowered uh, these two sheds here I probably lowered them about an eighth of an inch three eighths of an inch this back one I lowered it three quarters of an inch um, what else do I have here I've got uh, double magnets here where I plan on having a, a crossover here I'm going to use hydrocal for that. I just want to make sure that the uh, magnets worked properly. And it uncouples the cars really well and swings those uh, couplers side to side real easy. So, And I decided to use uh, the eighth inch chipboard all the way around for pavement. And then I'll cover that, like I said, again with uh, one millimeter chipboard painted and cut and then glued on top of that and I started painting some of the track still got another coat or two to go on that and then I'll start ballasting everything else 
that back part there already I put three coats on that back there uh, it's kind of a thin mix so but it works out really well I like the look of it let's see what else I got here I've got uh, Just some simulated posts, I guess. I got that nice and close. I'll uh, work on this project here. Probably next, at least get this painted and some of the inside uh, platforms built up so I can add some LEDs and have some bags of concrete on pallets inside there and such. Same with the outside here. All this platform area needs to be glued down. Uh, roof section will come in time. I gotta put LEDs in it first. Um, just a little bottle on top there that I emptied out that had some wash in it that I used for the concrete down here. I just put it up there so we could kind of get a visual on what's if there's gonna be a house up there. And over on this side here where the the building uh, where all the clinker goes down into and the, and the heat and everything's in this building here to go up a, a uh, kiln up into this preheater tower here. That'll be pretty tall by the time I'm done with it. 15, 18 inches or so. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I'm going to have, I'm going to use the uh, Walther's Superior Paper Kit over here, along with probably some Green Max product. Also, I'll get the Walther's uh, uh, North Island Refinery, I think is what it is. It's got small stacks and a lot of pipe work. And then I'll also uh, incorporate a lot of my own piping with different tubing, straws, uh, just whatever I can scrounge up around here, uh, skewers, whatever. And then I'll probably end up buying some styrene stuff also. Also, I'll buy styrene strips for horizontal on the uh, silos back here. So I got like horizontal supports that'll go in between the uh, verticals. And I'll get sheet styrene also for to finish off the grooves and other I'm going to order a bunch of styrene uh, along with the kits here in the next oh, few weeks or so. So I should have a, a bunch of kits and a pretty good start on this area here. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to uh, continue painting the rail and get all this ballasted. And I got still a lot of concrete to paint and color in here and back in here I'm just gonna use the eighth inch I'm just gonna color that I'm not gonna really worry about cutting any uh, one millimeter pieces uh, I might scrap a few lines but it's also gonna be so weathered and and uh, actually it'll probably just be a lot of material on the ground there you probably can hardly see any of the concrete so it really won't matter that much um, that back pile back there of iron ore that's just uh, foam painted red brown I still got to get some material to to glue to that and I have a truck filling facility here uh, a loading silo for for trucks that's just simulated again all this stuff is these trucks are simulated still and uh, got loading hopper here for rail serve at a hold when is that nine nine cars from the center of this all the way back I believe is what it is and from the center here holds three cars before it gets in the way of the switch or anything so that's all measured out pretty good did some parlaying on that see how many could fit in there uh, what else that's probably about it for now I'll uh, post some more in another week or so this weekend, hopefully. We'll have a few more things done. Had a rain out today, so 
and tomorrow will be another rain out. So no more spring sprucing at the saloon. Really for dad, but plenty of time. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hey, guys, before I leave you, I want to give you a, a shout out to Big Bill over at South Brooklyn Railroad. And he also does a show on uh, YouTube Model Builders, or now it's Model Railroading Live, uh, called uh, Who's Big Bill Talking To? Uh, make sure you check out his channels and, and everything. He's a really good guy. Thanks, guys. See ya.